Question number five, the Honourable Nikki Kane. Mr Speaker, question to the Minister of Education. How many primary schools have notified the Ministry of Education that they will be open for instruction or supervision or will close tomorrow? The Honourable Chris Hopkins. Mr Speaker, I have been advised that as of this morning, uh, 1,264 uh, 12, 12, schools, including intermediates and contributing schools, have notified the Ministry of Education that they will be closed tomorrow. Uh, the Ministry is continuing to monitor that. Schools have been asked to give parents and caregivers as much notice as possible as to whether the school will be open for instruction or supervision or will close. The New Zealand School Trustees Association is working with school boards to help them prepare and plan for strike action, and advice was sent to uh, out two weeks ago to school boards providing guidance on potential strike action and how to communicate about that to parents. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. In light of the fact that he does not have a firm number of exactly how many schools will close, can he confirm that there have been complaints to the Ministry and his office about the adequacy of communication to boards of trustees about their responsibilities regarding the strikes tomorrow. Uh, Mr Speaker, I reject the first part of the question. I gave her a specific number. It's uh, 1,264. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. So ha can he confirm that he has received an answer from every school in New Zealand as to whether they are closing uh, or remaining open? Mr Speaker, that wasn't the question. The question was how many schools had notified the Ministry of Education, and 1,264 have. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. Why has the Government not offered additional support to parents who may be struggling where schools may be closed and they do not have access to adequate supervision arrangements for their children? Mr Speaker, what school boards do in response to the strike is a matter for school boards of trustees. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. In light of the fact that he does not have an answer from every school in New Zealand as to what is happening tomorrow, if children are left unsupervised due to late decisions by schools, bad communication on the part of the Ministry, will he take any responsibility for his hands-off approach of the strikes tomorrow? Mr Speaker, I absolutely reject the, the entire premise of the member's question. Advice was sent to school boards of trustees two weeks ago. Jane Tanetti. What steps is the government taking to address the concerns raised by the primary school teachers? Uh, Mr Speaker, we are listening very carefully to the concerns primary school teachers have uh, raised throughout these negotiations. We have already taken steps to reduce teacher workload by abolishing national standards. Uh, we are taking steps to restore teachers' democratic representation on their governing body. Uh, we have introduced an emergency supply package uh, for teachers prior to Christmas and expanded it in, the, in this year's budget. And we are working constructively with unions to deal with pay equity issues for the lowest paid in our school system because we know that we've got a lot of work to do in that area. Question number six, uh, Pranga Radhakrishna. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social...